Hello everyone. So this is the last part of this course. So this will be just the last few steps before launching your app. Basically, this is this part you'll be gonna end up with a fully working e-commerce website which is already been deployed and that's that's what is this video is gonna be about I'll be walking you guys through until the end result which is you will be having an e-commerce uh, website deployed via Webflow so let's get started so as you can see we have done all of this uh, how do you say the features that are supposed to be there for a full-fledged e-commerce website and for example you can actually add add, add to cart and you can actually have this to be uh, add, added to your cart and you can actually continue to check out and everything so this is basically all the steps that are required to have to full to have a full-fledged uh, e-commerce website that's 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 literally what we want that's what we really need for our businesses so the next thing will be is to launch it so the let's so without further ado let's get started so all you need to do just go to your editors view and first of all go to your project settings here let me just zoom this file you need to go to this uh, click on this webflow logo and you need to go to project settings and the first step is to uh, actually you need to buy a hosting plan that would be uh, that's that's basically that's the first step basically you need to go to uh, plans and billing so plans and buildings is where we're gonna uh, you need to you need to have either three either one of these three plans for example this will be the most uh, the most standard because it's for user user friend I mean beginner friendly is a uh, website plan and also once we have bought upgraded to standard we will be having a site plan premium site plan that you you are able to access which you need to go to publishing. That's the second step here. You, need to, you can actually have custom domains for your website once you have the, the plans. The, at the minimum is a standard plan here. And once you have a good uh, custom domain, you can also need to do is actually need to make sure you, you have enabled SSL. And, and then of course, you need to have a custom SSL certificates if you have a custom one. So those things are the one that you are able to do once you are able to uh, like bought this particular uh, plan which is only meant for e-commerce site if you are making a website like a normal website you'll be having zero dollar which is basically free webflow.io domain that, that's what we're currently in so that's the whole idea of the first two parts of this particular part video so the next thing that we would like to do we need to go back to our editor view just need to go to uh, editor for example this is the let me just go back and once more and then this is the editor view of your uh, webflow e-commerce website so this is where we're gonna uh, do the rest of the steps for example the next step is to make sure you you enable more uh, uh, features that are supposed to be working when you have already so the thing is we need to go to this e-commerce icon here and as you can see there are still eight steps left so the most important thing to do is actually uh, you need to add a payment provider so payment provider is like basically in what in what way would you like to receive the money and, and how would you like the transaction to be made so basically a webflow provide main to a, a provider payment provider which is stripe and paypal as you can see stripe has more uh, feasibility on and on like like having more uh, methods of payments for example as visa mastercard and so on while PayPal on the other hand which is just PayPal only only the, the only way PayPal is going to receive your money from the customer is through PayPal so you can actually choose either one of these and you are able to go to go and that's the third step the last and the final step of this uh, of this particular part will be to check out you need to make sure one this is enabled you need to make sure you have enabled to check out and this toggle button only will be able to uh, work only when you have a hosting plan so once you are done with this and you are already done with everything so that's the whole idea of the whole uh, website is going to be about so that's the end of this particular course so thank you guys for watching until the end of this course and and i hope you will be able to succeed in your e-commerce business as well thank you guys for watching peace